Hi folks, welcome back to a new episode. This is Rally Top Investing 3.0. In this video, I want to share with you how you can take high probability trade setups even when price has violated your area of interest or your point of interest. As a trader, I'm pretty sure that there are times, many times over, that you would have marked your areas of interest and you are waiting for price to come and tap into that area of interest and give you a lower time frame confirmation or whatever for you to take trades. But unfortunately, price will blow through that area of interest and then you are like, well, there is nothing to do again. I want to announce to you guys that you still have opportunity in the market to take high probability trade setups and make a, a lot of money for yourself despite uh, your area of interest being violated. Now, for you to understand how to do that, you will need to stick with me till the end of this video because if you miss any part of this video, then you will be doing the wrong things in the market and then you will come back to say, what I showed to you is not working out. Okay? Now, but if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe so that anytime we post a new video like this, you'll be notified about it and please turn on the notification and if you enjoy this video please give us a like all right it is completely free it will help the youtube algorithm to show this video to more traders who want to gain this kind of knowledge with that being said let's jump into our discussion now take a look at this diagram before you price is printing lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower low lower low lower high now as you know, or may have known, if you don't know, please go back to our playlist and uh, go through some of our videos. You will learn about it. Now, for your high or low to be confirmed, you need inducement. Okay? And here is that inducement in the market to confirm this low. So that becomes your valid low in the market. And now, after inducement, there are only two areas of interest that work within your trading range. Where is your trading range? This is your range high. This is your range low. All of this area is your trading range. Now, this is number one area of interest after price has taken out inducement. This is known as decisional area of interest. And after that, you have this extreme area of interest. You have this extreme area of interest. Now, remember, your decisional area of interest is low probability area of interest. Why is it? It is because there is still another area of interest above it. So the decisional area of interest is, the f is a 50-50 uh, chance. It may work out, it may not work out. So I regard it as low probability area of interest. But sometimes you find price reacting off of this decisional area of interest and start going down or up depending on the direction of the market now but the extreme area of interest is a little bit more probable than the decisional area of interest because after if price violates this extreme area of interest now the next option that will be left is for price to take out this area here which is known as chalk because this is your high and this is your low. This is your trading range. So if price goes up to violate this extreme area of interest, then the next option is to wait for price to take out this change of character here and then you begin to plot your setups afresh. I hope you understand what we're talking about. Now, again, sometimes if price takes out this extreme area of interest with a candle wick, it doesn't mean that it has violated it. So this zone will still be valid. Now, how about you mark your two areas of interest like this, and then the decisional area of interest. Now, there's something like this that goes on within your decisional area of interest. Price comes into this, your decisional area of interest, 
and blow through it and price closes above it. How do you approach this kind of situation, guys? If price closes above your decisional area of interest, how do you approach this kind of situation? Now, you don't need to conclude that all is over just simply because price has closed above your area of interest. You still have opportunity. Now, what is the opportunity you have? Now, you got to wait for price to do something like this. Price should come down again, take out this very inducement. This is an inducement in the market. And then after the inducement, then you can look for any area of interest, valid area of interest, to begin to take price higher. Why is it? It is because price wants to go to this extreme area of interest. That is why you need to look for a valid area of interest somewhere here to take your trade from. Let me show that to you. So when price takes out this inducement, but remember, this is internal structure inducement. These are internal structures. This is your high, this is your low, your main structure. But these are internal structures. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Now, price takes out that inducement and taps on any valid area of interest here. Okay? Then you can take price higher. To where? You want to take price to this extreme area of interest. Simple. I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain to you now. Now, that is the scenario that you can use to take high probability trade setups, even when price has violated your area of interest. Now, let me take you to the live chat and show you what I mean. It will make more sense to you. Now, as you can see, we posted this setup before, both on our VIP community and our uh, public Telegram chan uh, channel. So we were looking at this area of interest here for price to come into this area of interest and uh, drop. Remember, this is our decisional area of interest where we refined on the lower time frame. So we're expecting price to tap into it and drop. But price didn't do that. Price came down a little, gave us uh, a little move downside. And if you remember, I posted this and I said I was taken out at break even. And then price blew through this area of interest and closed above it. Now, how do you take advantage? This is our extreme area of interest. All right? So we discussed that uh, in our Telegram channel. Now, this is the same scenario here. Okay? So now, how do you approach this kind of situation now? Price has closed above. Now, how you approach it, like I said, I explained to you in that, that diagram, is that number one, mark out your inducement. Without inducement, no high or low can be confirmed. And here is your inducement here. All right? Once that inducement is taken out, then we'll look for an area of interest. Remember, the first area of interest you should be looking out for is your order flow. Order flow is key, is major, is more important than your OB. Order flow is primary and your OB is secondary. Now, this is our order flow here. From this high, this candle's high to this low is our order flow. So we are waiting for price to come and take out this inducement and probably tap into this our area of interest. Then we can go long from there. That is the way to trade. That's the first step you need to do. Mark out your inducement and look out for any area of interest. In some other scenarios, Price may take out your inducement and gives you TNCP. I want you to understand that. So now, let's continue to advance price and see what happens. So as you can see, price has tapped into this area of interest. Now, can we go to the lower time frame to refine this area of interest? Is there anything to refine here? Maybe we should just check the 5M and see what can happen here. Okay, this is the 5M. Now, let's uh, see if we can refine this uh, 1H area of interest. Well, now, as you can see, everything here seems to be mitigated. So, we want to work with this 1H area of interest. 
but we have to be very careful the way because it's a large zone we need to be very careful how we want to take trade from this large zone since there is nowhere for us to refine now the first thing you need to do is that when price taps on your higher time frame area of interest like this there are two ways you can enter the market it's either you use chalk entry approach or you use tncp so we want to look for chalk entry model here that's the first thing we need to do and therefore we need to look for where is our change of character when price taps on your higher time frame area of interest you need to wait for change of character now i know some of you will mark this as your change of character this one but this is not your change of character guys why look listen your change of character is the first high in this case all right the first internal structure high before this drop down here okay so this is not your change of character why this is not a valid pullback why is it not a valid pullback well you can look at this let me show that to you look at this candle this black candle here that's the high of that black candle and where is the low of that black candle now this is the low of the black candle guys this one now take a look at what happens here all of these candles are inside bars all right they are inside of this candle range high and low so this cannot be your change of character so where is your actual change of character here guys let me zoom in for you to see properly where is your actual change of character here well this is your actual change of character this one so if price takes it out it becomes our change of character without a change of character we can't do anything on the chart just yet so let's uh, take this one out as well so that's our change of character so let's continue to play price and see we are still waiting for this our change of character to be taken out so let's drag it out we are still waiting for it to be taken out before we do anything or price comes down to take out this low out of the two so that price takes out this change of character and then we can take action in the market or comes to take out this low simple okay let's see whether price has taken out this low until price takes out this low we cannot do anything on the chart all right either take out this low or take out that eye as our change of character let's mark out this uh, this low once price takes it out then we can begin to take action in the market okay so as you can see price has taken it out now let me play price from here let me play price from uh, this point so price has taken out that major structure low now let's get back to the one edge and see what happens there now look at what is going on on the one edge here guys now price took out this low with a candle wick and this other candle took out the wick of this previous candle and then close above it can you see that so this becomes your tncp in the market guys this one becomes your clear tncp in the market so this is our new area of interest that we look to take trade from this one now if price comes to tap into this we go long remember when you are using tncp you don't need to wait for any inducement if price taps into it you just go long from there okay so let's get back to the 5m and see what is going on there now this is the 5m this is that area of interest that we have just marked okay if we want to refine this area of interest as you can see where can we refine it to look at this candle took out the low of this previous candle so this becomes your new area of interest simple that's your new area of interest now price has come into this your area of the, your refined area of interest price has come into it and has given us this uh, candle formation here 
But remember, if you are taking this price, this is not actually TNCP, but this is a good entry zone, all right? It's a good area of interest for you to take price from, like this, like this one, okay? But when you are taking uh, your trade from here, please put your stop loss just below. And where do you target? Look at where you target here. Let me show that to you quickly. The first area that you need to target is here. So let's uh, advance price and see if that will go in our favor. Okay, so as you can see, we have been activated into the market now. So let's see whether it will go in our favor. This is where we are targeting. There are several oppo several opportunities to uh, add positions in the market, but I just don't want to add any position because I don't want to confuse you. I want you to understand every bit of what I am doing here so that you can replicate it in your trading. It's as simple as that. Okay, so as you can see, ultimate target has been smashed. Our target has been smashed, as you can see. That's a decent trade. All right? That's a decent trade. That's huge. So this is the way you can actually capitalize on a setup that has already violated your initial area of interest. Okay? So you don't need to give up if your area of interest has been violated. Just follow the steps, all right, to take your trades in the market, provided price closes above your area of interest. I hope you understand what we're trying to say here. Please go over this video again and again, and then you'll be amazed at what you will learn from here. If you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so that anytime we publish a new video, you'll be alerted about it. And if you are yet to join our free Telegram channel, please do so just immediately. And if you want to learn more of this type of trading style and you want to join our VIP community, the doors are open for you. So please avail yourself of this opportunity and learn deep trading skills. All right, guys, I see you in our next uh, educational video. Thanks for watching.